Before we start building, I want to have a quick discussion about game engines, because in this course we're going to be using a specific game engine. I want to briefly explain why we're using that game engine and what the alternatives are and just give a little terminology so everybody understands where we're starting from the beginning. So the game engine that we are going to use for this course is Unity, or sometimes called Unity 3D. The actual name of the engine, though, is Unity. Their webpage is unity3d.com. There are a couple of game engine options out there, though. Unreal is one of the most popular ones. I'm sure you've heard of it. Fortnite's built on that, along with a lot of AAA games. And Unity is the other big one or the other big player in the game engine space. There are some other ones that used to be big. They've all kind of shrunk off. And then there are lots of little companies, or not little companies, but lots of big companies that have their own custom engines. But for the most part, the two leading engines in the industry are Unreal and Unity. While there are a couple of big differences between the two engines, you really can do just about anything with either of the engines. Unity is generally seen as more of an indie-friendly and mobile-friendly engine that's kind of approachable by a single person or a smaller team. And Unreal has, at least historically, been something that was more used in AAA games. So you'll find that a lot of AAA developers already have a lot of Unreal experience. It's what I used to use before I used Unity. And because of that, they're bringing that in there. They also have some really cool features in Unreal, like the new Lumen and Nanite systems. Unity also has lots of cool new features, though, and lots of stuff that's constantly coming. In fact, one of the things that made Unity so big was that they were the first ones to the mobile market by, I think, over a year. So if you wanted to build out for an iPhone, Unity was the way to go. And you'll find that's the case for most new platforms. Unity tends to be ahead on that stuff, and Unreal tends to be slightly ahead on rendering quality for AAA level graphics. So that's kind of the loose difference. You can really use either, but for this course, we're very specifically going to use Unity, and we're going to use a specific version of Unity. So I want to talk a little bit about different Unity versions. Unity is released in three or four different branches. First off, there's an alpha branch of Unity. This is where you'll see all of the latest and greatest newest features. I'll talk about how you can get that and see that later, but just understand that it's not really that um, reliable. It's something that you should expect to crash. You should expect to be somewhat unstable because it's testing out the new features. They haven't been fully vetted. They haven't found all of the bugs and fixed them. The beta build or the beta branch you'll find is quite a bit better. It's a lot more stable. You'll find that a lot of the new features are there. They get there quickly after they go out of alpha. They'll go into beta and they're usually mostly stable there, but it still does crash. It's not super stable, and you probably don't want to do your final builds off of that either. There are two other versions, though. There's the LTS and the TechStream. The LTS, which is the long-term support version, is the Unity version that's going to be supported for at least, I believe it's two or three years. You can look on their page and see the exact details for each LTS, but the one that I have up here is the Unity 2021 LTS, and you can see that they're going to support that all the way through 2023 and beyond, and the Unity 2020 LTS version will start to reach its end of life cycle around 2023. What does this all mean? Not a whole lot for you, except for if you're going to build a final version of a game, like you're getting ready to release your game, you wanna use one of these LTS versions usually. It just means that this version of Unity is going to continue to be supported. If they find some weird bug like, oh, um, a Chrome update makes it so that this game now crashes WebGL builds on this Unity version. They'll go back and fix that. They'll find, you know, fix things that they found in that ish or in Unity in that version uh, in that LTS. The text stream, which is what we'll be using, is a little bit newer. The text stream is the latest version that's considered stable, but it's not like a locked down version that's going to have support. It's going to have some new things. It's not going to be completely stable. It's not the 100% stable, but I consider it 99, 98% stable. So that's what we're going to be using. Again, it's called the text stream version, but you can always use an LTS and eventually this text stream that we're using will be turned into an LTS. Now for your Unity version, I recommend that you either use the one that we're using or a newer LTS or newer um, text stream version. Don't use an alpha, don't use a beta. Just make sure you go with a text stream or an LTS version. And to get specific, in the next section, we'll actually go through the installation process and see the exact version that we're using. So just make sure you're using at least that version or newer.